What's up, everybody? The day has begun. It is Thursday, February 18th, and I've already washed two cars. Yesterday was truly our record day. Um, we had a really good day. We had 178 cars go through the wash, but Monday we had, or uh, Wednesday, no, Tuesday, I'm forgetting my days. Tuesday we had 197 car day. But over half of those washes were member washes. Yesterday, only about 35% of our washes were member washes. So cash flow, baby. Hey, um, it seems like after storms or snow or inclement weather, whatever you want to call it, that um, people who have a membership, they're going to come in right away uh, the next day. Those people are smart. They're like, boom, I'm getting I'm getting it off right away. Um, boom shakalaka, yeah. Then you have the second dayers, and those are the people who procrastinate a little bit, but they still take care of their vehicles. So um, that's who came yesterday. Now, we woke up to about an inch of powder today, half an inch here. My parking lot's already cleared, it's great. Uh, had enough salt down. Um, yeah, two cars through the wash. Um, I hired on a new person yesterday. My interview did not show up yesterday at one. Um, it was supposed to be a training interview, um, have him train for a little bit, um, see if he uh, would fit the role. He just didn't show up. 17-year-old um, kid, that's the way it goes, whatever. Um, later in the afternoon, um, my manager brought someone to me about three o'clock. Um, so I threw him to the wolves right away and he did a pretty good job, I guess. So um, I'm gonna get to know him a little bit better today. I'm gonna talk with my manager about him um, or with him about him um, because he worked with him at a previous job. So I just wanna you know, get the download on the situation. Um, if there is a situation. I thought I just heard a door open. I don't think there's any customers though. There shouldn't be any customers. No, no customers. I have a camera right in front of me, so I thought someone snuck around and no one can come in the front because it's it's locked. So, um, but people do sneak around the side door and be like, hey, wash my car, because they don't want to go to the kiosk. They're old, they don't understand. Um, dealing with old people. Th this is uh, dealing with your elderly customers. <clears throat> um, it's hard in the car wash world. Um, it, I, I, I shouldn't say it's hard, it's challenging. It can be challenging uh, because they are accustomed to what they know um, and what they like. And as I've said before, the previous business here had customers that were all 60 years plus, 50 years plus, 40 years. I, I would say there was a lot of 60 plus. Um, I have a lot, a lot of elderly customers still. Uh, and their money is good. And I tell you what, they they spend more on their, they'll, they'll spend $23 three separate times in a month to get their Cadillac washed or four separate times, but they won't sign up for a $40 membership. They will literally give me, what is that? 30, $34 extra a month. My top wash is 23, my unlimited package for it is 40. So it is crazy, but that's okay. Uh, but it's also a learning curve for them. They want their uh, they want their vehicles vacuumed out by you. They want them wiped down. They want their windows wiped down. Uh, they want you to take the um, the vehicle through the wash. They want uh, to sit in inside in the lobby where I have I don't have a lot waiting room anymore. No chairs, no nothing. They want to have their coffee, stuff like that. They do not understand that this is a new business. Um, Yes, it is still owned by the same owners, but it's a new business. At the end of the day, it's a new business. We're not doing the same thing. So um, the old people, I, I, is it okay to call them old people? I don't want to call old people old people. Like, dude, I was, I was 20 years old 10 years ago, and in 20 years, I'm going to be 50. You know, I'm getting older too. I get it. Um, your, older, your, your older clientele, I should say. Um, you got to you got to have the the white glove approach. You really 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 do. You have to be calm and courteous with them. Go the extra mile like really make the experience 
good for them because, yeah, they may spend, um, you know, 90, 90, 100 hours a month in washes. Um, and that's what you want. You want them to keep coming back. You want 92. Uh, you want to give that uh, a high level customer, customer service um, always with everything that you do. Um, whether you're uh, <clears throat> on Facebook, over the phone, social media especially, that's very important. Uh, it's also very important not to let customers walk all over you on Facebook. A lot of people are keyboard warriors these days and um, do what you can to get those reviews uh, removed. Um, that's that's a video I should, I should do something on sometimes. You do not want to get people inflamed on Facebook or any social media whatsoever. You want to um, let them see the rational side of things so that they remove their comments so that they feel as though they look stupid. I'm pretty good at doing it. Um, I've done that two times, or three times actually in the last uh, three weeks, three separate incidents. Um, one of which is still one of my customers, two of which I banned. So, uh, and they were on the same account. It was a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Uh, just both very, very rude to the staff. Um, but yeah, dealing with your older clientele, you, um, it's challenging. Whenever I see um, someone going through the wash that I, I know is not accustomed to this, um, they don't even necessarily have to be old. Um, I have, um, there's quite a few people in town that are from South America. Um, so uh, Puerto Rico, Mexico, down south, you know, Spanish speaking customers. They got money, they wanna wash their cars. Um, and some of them just don't speak English. I get that, I don't speak Spanish. So, you know, if I were to go to Mexico uh, and try and get my car washed, um, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to understand the signs. I get it, whatever. Um, I'm not that person who's gonna be like, oh, you're in America and you speak English. Well, <clears throat> for those of you out there, if you were in America, like me, you know, we're accustomed to English. That's the way it is. Uh, English-ish. Uh, but in Mexico, you know, life isn't the greatest for them, so they're coming here to make life better for them. So give them the benefit of the doubt. And two, if they can speak Spanish and they can speak broken English, they still speak two languages for the most part. They still speak almost another language than you do. So give them a little bit of respect when it comes to that aspect, I would say. Um, that's my rant for the day. Um, yeah, old people, Spanish-speaking customers, anyone in general who, who just might not understand things, um, take the time, help them out a little bit. Um, these phones these days, they all have translators on them. How, how hard is it for you to say, uh, you know, neutral, foot off the brake, hands off the steering wheel, wipers off. It's gonna translate it, put it right up to them. Oh, okay, yeah, they got it. You know, maybe they'll go, oh, CC. I don't freaking know. Like, everybody, I, I don't think there's bad people out there um, that are really trying to, to mess with us in the car wash business. I think there are some people out there that wanna give us a hard time. They give everybody a hard time in life and that's just the type of person they are and that's not people in general. So, treat everybody with respect. That's the golden rule, right? Um, treat all of your customers uh, the best way possible. Customer service is key in this industry. Um, you will retain your customers with the best customer service, going above and beyond for them. Um, 9.30 and I only got two cars so far, man! But uh, the sun is starting to come out. You can see it peeking in the background. Uh, this is great. Um, I'm gonna hop to it. I wish I could uh, hop to it and uh, finish with a car, but guess not. You guys have a great day, send it.